Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, today I'm bringing to you my monthly favorites for the month of February. These have been just products that have kind of been my my ride or die for the month. Some of them are new to me so they really became favorites pretty quickly. And we have of course skincare, hair care, uh, makeup, and we'll just let's get started. First product up that I have for you today is a facial uh, foaming cleanser and it's from CeraVe. This is a CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. It's for normal to oily skin. They do have one that is, uh, it's kind of damp, it's been in my shower. They do have one that is for normal to dry skin and I have normal skin, but I like the thought of foaming facial cleanser rather than just kind of like a lotion-y cleanser. I really don't need the extra hydration, so I like the foaming better. It says it helps repair and restore the protective skin barrier non-comedogenic, non-drying and irritating, um, and it has ceramides, ni uh, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. So I switched this up. I, I know, I fell in love with it though immediately. I felt that my noxema was just drying me out just a little bit too much. Um, you know, during the winter time I can get a little dry in here. So I said, well, I'm gonna just try this out and I love it. So when summertime gets, you know, there's more gunk just in the air itself, I'm probably will go back to my noxema. I'm, I'm not going to give it up completely. <laughs> so anyway, moving on. The next thing that I picked up, uh, and I just, I fell in love with it immediately after I started using it, is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. Now this is new, and this is... A serum that has their MVE delivery technology. This contains, um, well, what it says it does is it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, helps restore radiant skin, refines poor uh, protective, restores rather protective skin barrier with exclusive encapsulated retinol and ceramide complex. So I use this at night after I cleanse my face and uh, before I put on my night cream and I really like it. It has this like squeezy tube but with a pump on it which oh, I love. So you can distribute just the amount you need. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on here so that you can see. It's yellow in color. Don't mind the stains. I was doing some swatches. It kind of has a yellow color to it and it comes out creamy and you glide it in and it gets it feels like it gets really wet and then like immediately starts getting kind of tacky feeling and then just soaks in and you're just left with such a soft you know you can totally tell how hydrated it is and your skin is just so soft when you're done so I have been loving 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 this Emily Noel 83 God love her she uh, these are her rider dies when it comes to removing her makeup and it's the equate two-in-one daily facial cleansing cloths and this is a two-pack for normal skin you get 66 cloths total so I'll show you they come in like two packages like this and they're dry and so you just add water and then they suds up and they foam up they have two textured sides one's a little bit rougher and bumpier one's a little bit smoother to help you know kind of get in there and they're compared to the Olay two-in-one daily face cloths and oh my gosh they take off every every little bit of my makeup that I have and they do not burn my eyes it, I mean it just comes it's effortlessly or effortlessly I've been having the hardest time saying that word for the past week but it just removes the makeup effortless effortlessly like I wet it down a little bit kind of squish it in my hands to get the soapies going open it up and like half the makeup is already gone just one wipe and I just continue wiping off and then I get around the eyes and get going and it's they're unbelievable you flip it over you really scrub it in and then you just rinse it off and then I go on to uh, cleansing my face anyway and I just I love them so thank you Emily thank you thank you thank you love her for that so moving on to a hair product this is new and this is from L'Oreal Paris. This is part of their advanced hair care and I did do like a review on the advanced total five and I wasn't kind of like blown over by that but this one is pretty good. This is their transforming oil in cream. 
So it's called the Extraordinary Oil Transforming Oil in Cream Oil Complex. So it's lightweight, non-greasy, leave-in treatment for dry, lifeless hair. And it contains Arjan, chamomile, coconut, um, amla, soya, and sunflower oils. But it's in a cream. So I'll show you here. It's kind of yellow too. So it's in this cream format and you can put it on your hair wet or you can also use it dry. But you just, you know, put it on, like run it through your ends and it just makes your hair, it leaves your hair so nice and touchably soft and moisturized. Now the only downfall, and some people may like this, but I think it's the scent's a little bit too overpowering for me. So usually when I use it, I use the tiniest amount possible and I really only kind of like put it in my ends. I don't run it through my whole hair because scent's just a little overpowering for me, but I'm kind of funny like that when it comes to scents of shampoos and conditioners and things of that nature. Whew, Mama's having a moment, y'all. I usually always have some type of lip product and I think I should just do my EOS lip ball of the month. So this month it has been the strawberry. It's a little pink one and it just has a nice little strawberry scent to it and I just, you know, I love these. I think they're just fabulous little lip balms. What I usually do is after I like scrub my lips and everything, after I've, you know, taken my shower in the morning and I scrub my lips and done all that stuff before I put on my makeup I'll go and I'll slap this on you know and I just keep on a rubbing it on there slap it really heavy by the time I'm ready to sit down and put on my makeup and go to the last step which is my lipstick it is just soaked in and my lips just feel so hydrated and stay so soft and so I just really love this and I use it morning and night and love it love it so we're getting into makeup now so finally if y'all have seen my e.l.f. haul or have heard me complain about e.l.f.'s little blending brush for eons, that they're always out of stock of it. It's always out of stock. Well, recently, my Target revamped their entire makeup session section. They're carrying a ton more e.l.f. I mean, they have a huge spot for e.l.f. now, both studio and the regular like $1 and $2 line, plus all of their skincare items as well. And what did they have when I went there? I was so happy. I almost cried. The e.l.f. blending brush. I tell you what, this little brush is the game changer. Um, I was liking like the little wet and wild one. It was working fabulous until I came across this. And I mean, this is just such a little multi-tasker game-changing little brush and it does everything. You can pack on shadow, you can cut in and blend the crease, you can uh, brighten it whatever you want to do you pretty much get it done with this and i just i love this brush three dollars i mean come on love love definitely has been my favorite now two more things elf you know it's funny i think last month i didn't have any elf products crazy i know right so this um two so we'll move on two more products from elf and i do actually have a whole swatch slash demo on this one and it's the elf illuminating palette and I am, so I won't go too far into it, but you know, here's the, here, my lighting, it's starting to get dark, so it's a little bit brighter, funky in here, but these are just beautiful. It's a total dupe for the ambient hourglass lighting palette. Get these three really pretty shades. They're, it's just a really, really good highlighter and I just love it. So I won't get into much on that. I'll leave the link down below where you can click on that if you want to watch the entire try on plus uh, demo and swatches okay so moving on another product from elf and again because target revamped they had a lot of stuff that they haven't had before and this one i used to have one of these and um i think i dropped it and crumbled and broke it completely and then they it was just you can never find it again and it was never in stock on elf's website and it always said out of stock and i thought well i guess they're just discontinuing it why don't they just take it off instead of saying it's out of stock anyway it is the elf contouring blush and bronzing powder but this is the matte one in fiji and I love, love, love this. It is so pretty. This, if my skin tone and lighter will rock this. If you have really um, 
if you're very fairly complected and you have a hard time finding a good contouring powder that doesn't look like you're you know you've laid down tracks on your face this is such a good shade but it actually it's still pigmented enough that it creates just that you know hint of a little bit of shadow for me to contour and the blush is just gorgeous now i do have to really build up the blush color to get it to show up on me but um it is just beautiful so here those two are right there so you can see and i kind of built up that contour the powder too and i do build it up when i use it you know because otherwise it's just a little bit too it's so close to my own skin tone but I love it. And I just, this is just so stunning. The blush is, oh, actually, you know, I might have swatched that blush on top of that lipstick. Let me scoot that over a little. <laughs> Here, look up by my knuckles. There's the blush color. I did, I swatched it right on top of that lipstick. Ignore the one in the middle. But that's the blush color right there. It's just such a pretty, fresh, peach color i mean it that is the best way to describe it it's just a beautiful and fresh peach color i absolutely love it i'm so glad to see it back because it was the only one they had in their little duos like this that was matte you know but well besides the cream the cream one's matte too but you know for the powder it's the only one that was matte and i just think it's beautiful 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 i'm so glad you brought it back elf i'm so glad Okay, so moving on, I, uh, because I guess Valentine's Day, give it up for my Too Faced bonbons. Um, I have a whole tutorial on a Valentine's Day look I did with this. Just the most prettiest darn palette on the faceless earth. Just the most prettiest darn eyeshadows and just beautiful, adorable. I can't say enough about it. I, mm, yes, it smells like chocolate. It's just wonderful. I love, love, love this. I, I've been using it constantly got it on today so um when i haven't been reaching for that kind of my go-to look especially for like work is you know it's kind of like a refall in a love shop my stash thing with my wet and wild color icon trios and the two i have here are um this one is sweet as candy pretty pinky and taupe shades there oh i had to pull that back my light's pretty bright up there to change that bulb in that thing and then this one is walking on eggshells and yeah there's kind of that's a major pan in there i i hit pan on these all the time and i've repurchased these only three bucks a piece love them great formula <laughs> tremendous stain power when it comes to drugstore eyeshadows this is what i compare them to and if they aren't as pigmented and as good as this then i don't bother with them and i put these up right there next to the high-end stuff as well it's just they're that good and i think a lot of people just don't really realize that because they think they're so because it's so inexpensive but it really is it's worth your three dollars to try it out so last two items are lips and you know i'm still in winter time so i'm really into more glosses rather than sticks just because of the whole you know dryness factor and my poor chip chappity lips so i kind of rediscovered love you know again i've been kind of shopping my stash a lot um and this is the nyx uh, mega shine lip gloss in the shade beige and i think this is like a cult favorite of everybody's because for one its name is beige and it's pink <laughs> but it's a really good pink for me because it borders more on kind of a cool tone pink it has just enough gray in it so that it's not like a bright pink on me and i really like it and of course god it's nyx stop and smell and appreciate that and of course you know i mean their packaging is adorable with a lot of these things because you know it's got like a little bow at the top just gorgeous okay and now a new one i got and this isn't new to this particular line this came out last year when this line launched and it's the intense butter gloss but it just hadn't picked up this shade because i have so many others that i like but this is in the one toasted marshmallow again you gotta give it up for nyx for these names and this is the like i said the intense butter gloss so these are much more pigmented than the original butter clauses, but just as creamy and smooth and god they smell so good but this is toasted marshmallow and it's just a deep berry 
It's just a very, very, very deep, dusty, I would call it like a dusty berry, because it's got just, just like a hint of brown in it, just a hint, but it's just a really deep berry. I think it's gorgeous. I've, I've worn this in beige. I'm wearing them out, <laughs> but I have fallen in love with them, except for what I have on my lips today. That will be a video that will be up soon. Um, this will probably be in next month's favorites. Ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm predicting the future now. I think I might be psychic. So anyway, that has been my monthly favorites for the month of February. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Uh, make sure to click on that subscribe button to keep up with me with all of my favorites, tutorials, reviews, demos, and whatnot. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.